before the master class, how do you feel? Grumpy. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Oh yeah, we rode with we both of the children excited. here. Yes. We got up at 5.15 in the morning, and so here we are. So here we are in the dressing room, and I'm actually going to work on my hair as I talk to you, um, just to try to multitask. But I'm super excited for this concert, and one question that I get asked sometimes is, preparation the day out like what to do what not to do what to do too much so I before I had kids was very different I would have answered this very differently now <laughs> but um, before I had kids I would like take a nap in the afternoon and just take like three hours to get ready but now is a little bit different and I'm grateful that my family's around my sister and my parents have been watching the kids which has been awesome um, but I will I will exercise in the morning. That's probably the most important thing for me is to do exercise in the morning just to stay focused. It gives me energy. It um, gives me motivation and makes me happy. And so that exercise is really important to me. I will also try to not eat anything that's going to slow me down, which for me, that means sugary stuff or breaded stuff. Those, uh, as much as I love those things, um, they definitely do not give me energy and I have to make sure that I have my focus. I have a lot of pieces to sing and I wanna make sure that I'm memorized and have all those because sometimes that's probably the thing that stresses me the most is memorization um, in those. Oh, look who it is. I'm just filming for the next YouTube video a little behind the scenes of concerts, okay, so say hello. <laughs> Um, but it's super cool to be back here at the Tippets because it does feel like a homecoming growing up here and then coming in this dressing room. And I have a little side note, this dressing room that we're in right now, I feel super popular because this was like the coveted dressing room when you were doing community theater. If you got in this first dressing room, it meant like that you had a lead, that you were a big deal. So of course, naturally, we go into this dressing room to get ready. Um, I'm actually thinking of using a second dress for act two, although I think Paul thinks that I would be too much of a diva if I did that, but we'll see what we end up doing. Okay, it's fine. Okay, so. <laughs> I just changed jackets. <laughs> you can wear a headband. <laughs> wear a headband for act two. <laughs> um, and then singing, how do you like performing on the, do you feel acoustically when you do piano stuff? Do you need feedback for that? You mean for balance? Yeah. Uh, only for the singer, yeah. But do you feel like you can hear me when you're playing and I'm singing? Yes, definitely. Oh, awesome. Definitely. Um, it's, it's more, it's more muffled in this space. Mm -hmm. um, it sort of sounds like you're singing right into a, um, or a sound panel or something like that. That's what you, it yeah, sounds like a, to you? Or an acoustic panel. Yeah, it just sounds uh, very dry. Yeah, yeah, very dry. Yeah, it feels very dry. Like I, I there's some spaces I love singing in, and as beautiful as this is, and as much as it makes my heart happy to be here, it's not wonderful for getting acoustic feedback, especially, I don't know, I like non-dry spaces quite a bit. So. I want you to imagine what it would be like if you had so much focus so much zen, so much peace, so much calmness, and so much excitement at the same time before performance. As in, like you're not getting in your head, you're not freaking out, you're not becoming a basket case, or you're not a hot mess. So if you feel like sometimes that is you, imagine what it would feel like if that wasn't the case, if that wasn't a problem anymore. It would be pretty awesome, right? So what is the first step to that? 
working with your mindset. So if this is something that's of interest to you, I recommend going to stopcaringwhatthethink.com. If you're a performer and you want to have more confidence, if you want to get out of your head, these are tips and tricks that I'm offering to you for free. It's a free resource that can help you have more confidence to manage that anxiety and just to feel like you can enjoy life again. You can enjoy performing. That's what it's all about, right? So stopcaringwhatthethink.com. Thank you so much for tuning in this week. I hope that you enjoyed it and learned something. Don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. I post new videos every Wednesday and a new podcast every Friday. Thanks.